Sleep is something all struggle. All struggle. We all have struggled in the whole of our lives, right? Probably. There are many people in the world who struggle with sleep. They go to bed and they don't find sleep. Sometimes they wake up in the middle of the night for no reason. No reason. Sometimes. Sometimes. When they wake up in the morning, they feel miserable and tired, even tired. Okay. So there are a lot of problems. A lot of problems. So in this video, I am going. I'm going to share with you three tips three that tips we must practice, we must practice in order to have, to have a better sleep. Better right? sleep. This is in our daily routine. In our daily routine. So, without any further without ado, any further, let's further, dive into the video. Tip number, one. tip number one. The first thing that you have to do is to, do. to wind down for your bed. Wind okay? down. That means sleep is something that we have to we approach have to gradually approach and peacefully. peacefully. It's like you are getting ready for, getting the, for an occasion, for right? Uh, before for an occasion before maybe an interview uh, or a meeting what we do you get ready right get ready. you get your clothes done you clothes get your documents done document you get ready for it get ready for say it. like that sleep is an important occasion in our day in our so day. what we have to do we, we have, have to, to get ready for it get ready for okay so how can we get ready get so ready. here are a few things that you can practice can to practice wind down for your bed the first thing that you have to do today. is to have a light meal light for your meal dinner. For now for the months, this is not a problem month, because we problem. don't have a dinner. Have we only dinner. have two meals per day. Meals right? a day. Some months have one meal per day. One meal per day. Uh, normally we have two normally meals per day. Two that is breakfast and lunch. Breakfast. We don't have the dinner. We don't have okay? the dinner. So have a light meal have a light for meal your dinner. For dinner. And eat at least four to three hours. At least before four bed, and three before you hour. sleep time. Now, when you before do this, you time, your you digestion it. is over and it is finished and it is at rest. Now you can go to the bed, can go to the bed peacefully and drink can enough water enough before you water go to bed. Before you go to okay. bed. And also, or this also is something that something many people many do. People right? do, do not do bring not your mobile phone or laptop or mobile any device phone that you're using to into the bed. Right? There are many people who use, right? There are thousands of people who use their we mobile use phone mobile in their bed before sleep. Before okay? sleep. Sometimes you scroll Sometimes you and scroll, scroll and scroll, scroll. And so finally you find but that it is 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the night, in the morning. Don't do that. Don't do so that. So what you have to do? So have to do? Avoid as much Avoid as possible as much these as screen possible. time. Blue light Blue screen and light everything. Screen. Avoid them. Okay? Avoid because them. Because these screens and these lights stimulate our brain. brain. Okay? If you can, uh, yeah. if you can be relaxed can and be listen relaxed, to a meditate, med a meditation music or a calming music, music a calming, then that's better. That's better. Okay? So you have to wind have down to before down sleep. People and sleep. another thing that oh, you can do you can is do to have a, shower, have a shower, right? If it is a cold okay. shower, cold it shower. is much better. Much better. Oh, if you cannot have you a cold shower, then have a little warm water shower. Okay? Cleaning your body, you have to begin to wind down and make like your body feel relaxed. Okay? Then you feel, then, then you even feel your mind feels peaceful. Mind feel peaceful. Okay? So this is how we this wind how down we for our bed. Well, tip, number two tip number two is to practice, practice the gratitude, gratitude, right? Now we monks, when we, we go to go the bed, to right, bed, we just sit on just the bed and we close our eyes close and think eyes. the people and we recall people all the people all who the have people helped have in our life. Right. They may be your parents, your they parents, may be your relatives, your husband, your wife, husband, your children, your wife, your or children, there are certain or things that we feel grateful, grateful for. So what do you have to do? do, have to be, do. Grateful be grateful for them. Grateful. Right? Simply say thank you for all of them. Right? Mm, Remember and recall Remember all the people who the have people helped you in your way, you in your life journey. In your life and journey. be thankful for them in your mind. In your mind. That is something that we can do because can do. Gratitude, gratitude is a powerful is a emotion to generate, generate in you. You, you feel the you happiness feel the within happiness your mind in your and it will mind. help you to have help a peaceful sleep. So tip number two is to practice gratitude. gratitude. 
And finally, as tip number three, what you have to do is to recall a good deed that you have done earlier. This is something that I personally do before every day before I'm going to bed. I recall all the good deeds that I have done during the day, good things that I have done during the day, and also I recall the things, good things that I have done in the past. Okay. So it is always good to keep one good deed or few good deeds in your mind that you have done in the past to make you feel happy. When you recall them, you can feel happy about them. I personally have two good deeds in my my life. Among every other good deed, these two good deeds help me a lot to feel much more happy. They may be not big things, but they are. You feel so much happy when you think that you have done it. Okay, it can be a little, little act of kindness. Right? It can be giving some little food to an animal or a person that makes you feel happy. Before every time you go to bed, what you have to do is to recall all the good deeds, good things that you have done in the past. Now, when you do this, you will feel. A very positive self-esteem in your mind, right? You feel that your life is worthy. You have done good things, right? You have, you are a good person. Because there are many people they go to bed regretting about their life. Okay. Remember, no matter how hard or tough your life becomes, there is always positive things in your life. There is there are always good things that you have done in. The only thing that we have to do is to recall them. Right? The more we remember the good things that we have done, the more we become happy. That is one uh, result of doing good things. So these are the few things that we can do to practice to have a better and a healthy sleep. So as a summary, what you have to do is first thing, wind down, relax your mind before you go to bed. Number two. Practice gratitude. gratitude, and finally, number and three, number recall the good things that you have done in, in your day and in your life. life. If you do these things and if you practice these things, I can assure that you will have a peaceful and a healthy and a better sleep. So practice these things and have a peaceful night. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. Welcome and welcome, welcome back to another, back to video. another video. If there is one thing one in, thing common, in common, common in this world that this all living world. beings search for, that is the happy. Namo Buddhaya. Welcome and welcome, welcome back to back another, to video. another video. Today, Today let's talk about let's talk how about to have how a to better have sleep and a healthy sleep. sleep. Now, sleep, now is, something sleep is something that we, something that we all struggle and, struggle and we all have struggled in our life, all of our, our lives, life, right? And there are many people life, right? in this world who struggle many with sleep. In this they go to bed and they don't find sleep. Sometimes they wake up in the middle of the night for no reason. Sometimes when they wake up in the morning, they feel miserable and tired in the morning. So there are a lot of problems with sleep. So in this video, I am going to share with you three tips that we monks practice in order to have a better sleep. Right? This is in our daily routine. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Tip number one. The first thing that you have to do is to wind down for your bed. Okay. That means Sleep is something that we something have to that approach to gradually approach and peacefully. And it's like you're getting ready for, like you're for an occasion, for right? An before occasion, for an occasion, maybe an interview or a meeting, where you, you get ready, right? Ready. You get your clothes done, you get you your documents done, and you get ready for it. Ready for it. Same like that. Sleep like that. is an important occasion. Important our day. In our so what day. we have to do, so we, we have, have to get to ready do. for we it. Okay? So how can we get ready? So here are a few things that you can practice to wind down your bed. 
really the first down thing for the bed for tea. Is to you have to do is to have a light meal for your dinner. Now for the monks, now this, for is the monks this is not a problem because we don't have two meals per day. We have two meals per day. Normally we have two meals per day. That is breakfast and lunch. We don't have the dinner. Okay. Lunch we don't have dinner. So have a light meal for your dinner. For your dinner. And at eat least four at least to three hours, two and three hours before the bed, before, the before bed, your sleep time. Your and when you do this, your time is over and your time is finished. Is over, and is at rest. Finished now you can go right to the bed peacefully. To bed peacefully. And, and drink and enough drink water enough before, you water to before you go to bed. Okay. And also, and this, also is this is something that many people, many people do, do, right? do not, do not bring. Bring your mobile phone, your mobile or, laptop, or, or any laptop, device, any that you're device using then you're using to the bed. To the bed. Right? There are many people who there are many use, people right? who there use are thousands right? of people there are who use thousands of people their mobile who use their phone, their mobile phone and their people bed. Sleep. People sleep. Okay. Sometimes you scroll, Sometimes you and, scroll, scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Finally, you and find that it is one a.m. or two a.m. in the night. In the morning. In the night. In the morning. Don't do that. Don't so do what that. do you have to do? So what do you avoid have to do? As much avoid as much as possible, possible this screen time, blue light screen, screen time, and everything, blue light screen, everything okay? avoid because it. Because these screens and these lights stimulate this our brain. And this light stimulate okay? our brain. If you can, uh, if you can, if you can be relaxed if you can be and listen to, listen to a meditation, music, meditation music, music, or music, or time music, then that's better. better. So you have to wind so you do down have wind before sleep. Before and another sleep. thing, and that, another you thing that you can do is to have do a shower. If it is a cold if shower, it is a cold it's shower, much better. Then it's much better. Uh, if you cannot have a cold, you cannot shower, have a cold shower, have a little warm water shower. Have a little warm water okay. shower. Cleaning your body, Cleaning your body you will help you to wind down and make your body feel relaxed. Then you feel that even your mind feels peaceful. So this is how we wind down for our bed. Tip number two. For our bed, tip number two is to practice the gratitude. Right? Now we monks, when we go we to monk, the bed, we, right, we just go sit to on the bed, bed and we sit on the bed, and close, close our eyes, the people, and we recall people all the people, all people who have people helped who in, have our life, right? in our life. They may be your parents, they, they may be your parents, relatives, your husband, your wife, your children, your wife, or there are certain or things that you feel things grateful for. So what do you have to do? What do you have to do? Right. Grateful simply for them. Say simply say thank you for all of them. Remember and recall all the people, all the people who have helped, who you, have in helped way, you in your, in your, your way, journey. in your life and journey. And be thankful for them in your mind. For them in your that mind. is something that we can do. Because, can gratitude, because gratitude is a powerful, is a powerful emotion. emotion. If you generate it, if you, if you feel the it, happiness, you feel the within, happiness your within your and mind, and it will help you, will to, help have you to have peaceful sleep. Peaceful so, sleep. tip number two tip is, number to two is to practice gratitude. gratitude. And finally, as tip finally, number three, tip what you number have three, to do is to, to do recall, is recall a good deed, a good deed that, you have, done that you have done earlier. This is something that I this personally do before every day, do before, before I'm going every to day, bed. Before I recall all the good deeds all the that I have good done during the day, good things that I have done during the day, and also I recall the things, good things that I have done in the past. I have done in the past. So it is always good to keep one good deed, or few good deeds in your mind that you have done in the past, to make you feel happy. When you recall them, you can feel happy. You can feel happy about them. I personally have two good deeds that I have done in my life. One is to read my Bible every day. Every day, 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 every
Remember, no matter how hard or tough your life becomes, there are always positive things. There are always good things that you have done in your life. The only thing that we have to do is to recall them. The more we remember the good things that we have done, the more we become happy. That is one result of the good things. So these are the few things that we can do to practice to have a better and a healthy sleep. So as a summary, what you have to do is firstly wind down, relax your mind before you go to bed. Number two, practice gratitude, and finally. Number three, recall the good things that you have done in your day and in your life. If you do these things and if you practice these things, I can assure that you will have a peaceful and a healthy and a better sleep. So that's it. Thank you for listening. 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 Thank you for listening.